to stay with hunter hives. Here's our newest creation. It's a uh, solid cedar horizontal hive. Holds 32 frames. The uh, only thing that's not cedar on it is the number one select frames and the hardware. Everything else is solid cedar. No plywood used in this at all. Uh, right off the bat, let's go down here to the bottom. We have pull out trays that also have two and three quarter inch vents. It's covered by a number eight hardware cloth. And inside that is a pull out tray that you can use for your pest treatment. Be it if you're going to use oil treatment, uh, you're going to use DE and pollen patties, you use it for mite counts. Okay. You can also set this up to put extra insulation like a burlap bag with like two inches of sawdust in it. Slide it inside here and close it off. You won't close off the vent, you'll still get some airflow. You can use that to help give yourself some extra insulation in the winter time, not that you'll need it. Above the uh, pull-out drawers, which is three of them, if you look, the wood grain matches as it goes continuously down through here. Okay, and then you have a drip edge that goes over the top of that, stops any water, rain, and snow from building up on top of your drawers. I would recommend you seal this with some clear silicone before you either seal or paint your hives. I really wouldn't want to paint over a cedar hive though. Okay. Now we get inside the inside here. Uh, we've got 32 frames. These all have covers over the top of them. Four covers have uh, vents on them with number eight hardware cloth. That works in conjunction with your vent down through here, the vent through here, and the dormer vents on either side of the ends here to give yourself airflow. If you find out if you're getting too much or too little, there's things that you can do to modify that. Okay. Your, frames have a uh, follower board inside here and that's why we go to such great lengths to make sure these boards are just super flat that you can take this follower board and have very tight uh, tolerances but you can move it throughout this whole frame or the, throughout the whole hive here and it will fit like a glove but it's also made from 100% cedar if you notice the notches right through here it matches these notches on the sidebars of your frames so when it's put back inside you have no gap and when you put your cover back in there's no gap and between the, the uh, top covers here and the and top of the frames uh, there's 3 8 B space 3 8 B space on the side just like it's supposed to be okay you can move one of these covers here and just work on three frames and not bother the rest of the hive at all Okay, uh, everyone has its own little handle. So if your brood area is right through here, if you have a small spacer block you can pull out here. It relieves any tension that might build up on your on your covers. Or if they pr propolize them in there, then you can. it's easier to lift them up and try to get over here on the end and pry on them. There's one through on this side, another one on this side. Okay, if you notice you're over here working on this side of the hive, there's no entrances for the bees. The entrances for the bees are on the opposite side, so you're not standing in the flight path. We only put two on there. Right, here's a little something else here. On the, a lot of people will sit there and put uh, either hive tools up here, their smoker. They got a nuke box in here while they're working at it. You don't have to worry about doing that anymore if you come around on this side. There's a drop leaf table right here. It's built onto all of our horizontal hives. Okay. When you're not using it, just fold it back down. It's out of your way. When you want to use it, fold that back up. You can hold a nuke box on here, put some extra frame covers, uh, anything you want to use it for. It's, uh, it's the width of the hive and 12 inches deep. Okay, you got zinc chains that hold these on, so you don't have to worry about these resting. All solid cedar construction on, on your roof. Uh, now you can even, there's a few things that you can do, like for the winter time, you get you one of those uh, burlap bags that they use for the potato sack races, put two inches of sawdust in that, and run some straps through here, and just hang it inside here. You still get airflow through the dormer vents here, but it will also help absorb any of the moisture. And when you're getting into the roof, this metal wraps all the way underneath here, goes all the way up to the ridge on both pieces here. And then there's another separate one that covers the ridge, so it's totally waterproof. You might want to take some uh, silicone and take the screws out. Just put a small dab of silicone in the center of the hole. Put your screw back inside there. You don't want enough silicone to ooze out and get onto the metal. 
which would start attracting dirt and stuff like that. Just a slight dab of silicone salt takes. And you should be good to go. Now while you're working on your, your uh, hive, you want to get some frames out of the way. There's a frame rack here on the side. They usually hold between four and five. We've been cutting them a little bit longer. And this one actually holds six frames. Okay, it's five sixteenths uh, metal rod that goes in an inch and a half deep inside the the, uh, the uh, two by four here. Okay, this is uh, going to be offered on our web page. You'll be able to see videos. We'll be taking a lot of uh, individual pictures so you can see how everything looks on there. And if you're interested, just stop by hunterhives.com.